and then finally 26. Yeah, so a diffuse infiltrate in the dermis with a mixture of lymphs, plasma cells, EOs, and neutrophils. I'm trying to find a place where I can get the high power to show you better. But the, the neutrophils are like evenly scattered throughout, which I feel is such a distinct pattern that neutrophils usually are not evenly interspersed with lymphs and, and plasma cells and EOs with newts mingling in between. They usually are like in aggregates or pockets or little micro abscesses. And so to have them evenly sprinkled throughout here um, and then a variable amount of fibrosis can be present because this probably is granuloma facial probably exists on a spectrum with erythema elevatum thiutinum where they can have kind of a subtle fibrosing vasculitis. And in the EED end of the spectrum, that fibrosing vasculitis is really prominent. You can begin to see it here. Look, we don't see good LCV, but we're seeing these damaged vessels with spiraling, swirling, onion skin kind of fibrosis around them. So I've definitely seen lesions that kind of had overlap that looked a little like EED, but clinically made more sense to be granuloma facial. So, and of course, as you guys all well know, where's the granuloma in granuloma facial? It's in the name only. There are no granulomas in the dermis in this uh, disease. So a nice example. And I like this one because it really does show you the, the relationship here between G facial and EED because you can really see this kind of overlap. That's really really good example of it. All right, guys, I think that's everything. Uh, thank you so much. Have a great day.